everyone. I am Sanya Kule, and this is cute little Yankee and bigger brother, uh, big brother cat as well. And in this video, I want to show you guys how you can use PowerPoint for effective video editing, which is very, very helpful and very useful, Yankee. And in fact, I'm going to kind of show you something funny and yet, yet rather cute that you did in one of my educational videos. So he did something really cute when I was uh, teaching one of my uh, videos in the background. And I want to show you how you can edit it and how you can do that in PowerPoint. So a lot of the time for many of my videos, I use PowerPoint um, to record some of those videos as well as I'm teaching. And um, what's really cool is that it's a very powerful editor. And at one point, this cute little guy is doing something very adorable. And I want to show you how we can edit that in PowerPoint and pretty much some of the key concepts involved with editing using PowerPoint as an editor. Because when you think about it, PowerPoint is for slideshows and presentations and videos are a key part of that too. Videos can make presentations even better. So what I want to show you guys again is how we can use PowerPoint for effective video editing. I'm Sanya and this is cute little Yangshi. Mm. Mm. <laughs> I'm kind of just like a little bit of a badger, sort of kind of cold right now. So without further ado, let me kind of dive right into it. So if you want to create videos using PowerPoint, then all you have to do, so it's like inception because I'll show you what the slide looks like, but you just have to go to slideshow record slideshow, and then you can record from the current slide, which would be slide two or four, the, the second slide, or from the beginning, which is the first slide. And if you record it, it sort of kind of wipes out like um, other things. So um, it's not going to allow me to show that right away. But basically, let me kind of show you what happens if I click record from current slide. When I am clicking the record button, there's this interface that pops up that I'm going to show you right now. If I record slideshow from the current slide, then what happens is I will get this right here. So I'm going to be able to basically um, see, uh, I'm, I was recording this in Zoom right now, but if you click this in PowerPoint, you're able to then kind of see the current slide that you're in and you have a suite of tools that you can use for editing as well and marking up things as well. So that's sort of how you can record videos in PowerPoint as well as um, a lot that you can do. And in fact, that's sort of how I recorded this um, slide here for one of my educational videos. So this is a slide of that. And I kind of want to show you what happened um, doing that. So again, part of this um, is part Zoom, but most of it is kind of what the interface of recording videos in PowerPoint looks like. So when I was recording this video, you kind of will see something that happened. So here, what we're going to see here is the probability that um, A is false, given that C is false. And you see him um, getting up and sort of creeping along towards me, his little sister. I, I actually had to, during the video, I was so surprised I took out my phone to, to start like recording it because it was so cute. What was happening is you can see here, Right? Like it, I think I think it's cute. I think it's cute. In fact, I'm going to also show you what I had recorded from my um, phone, which I have uploaded. So I'm going to show you what that looks like, actually. So on my phone, I had taken this video here of um, Yangshi and me right here. And it looks like this, actually. So you can see in the beginning, he's really, really cute. He's like, uh, you know, giving some licks and some affection. That's sort of like what you see me recording in that video. So I also want to kind of um, upload this as well. This is higher quality than what I got in the webcam version. So if I want to upload, I can just do insert. Um, then I can go to video from this device sample video and then Yang Shi and me. And then I'm just going to upload it right here. Maybe I can make it with a cute little background and 
when you'll see it, you'll see the same video showing up here. So now you kind of see two videos here. You see this video where um, you can kind of see in the back, you know, Yang Yangshi being very affectionate to his sister. And then you can see um, the same thing over here, but it's my phone version is what I was taking on my phone. But I kind of wanted to zoom in on, on this moment with them. Because it's really cute because what I captured on my phone, sadly, was part of this, not the whole thing. The you know, by the time my reflexes um, kicked in and my phone um, recording started, it was kind of late. You understand, little cat, that that's you? That this little stud is you? You sort of like kind of puzzled. That's you, Yankee. That guy is you on the screen. Mm. I tried to help him reflect on himself the other day in the mirror. Not sure if he knows his reflection yet. Mm. But anyways, so I'm going to show how we edit this. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to just capture um, capture something that um, essentially focused on. It looked like this in the end, and this is what I actually ended up using it. I, I did something like this, where I just focused on the whole part of him going in. See, that's you. That's you, little guy. See that that's I, I dropped the original video part. That's me sort of recording it. How did I do that? Well, just like we can edit images in PowerPoint, we're also sort of able to edit videos in a similar way. So you can just copy this image file. You can paste it in a new slide or in a new um in a new PowerPoint as well. Oh, this cute. Oh wow, now this cute little me. Cute little me. Hi me. Hi little me. Oh, she's so cute. Oh, she also is curious about seeing herself too on the video. Hi, me. And her little brother too. She's excited to see them both on the video, it seems. So I want to show, hi, little guy. Oh, he misses his sister. He is such a good brother. Oh, <laughs> they're so cute. So what you're going to see here is basically how I edited this. Me, you also want to see it too? Me? Oh. So I'm going to show you now how I edited this. So again, I had just copied this from here, here, and um, I can have some design ideas. I'm not too interested in those at the moment, but I'm just going to kind of expand this here, expand it out as much as possible. I can also kind of crop the, I can crop the um, image as well, the video, I mean, sorry, the video. You see that, that's a badger here, whose hat I'm wearing up here, kind of. But I can crop it, and I can crop it some more. But what I really want to do first is I want to sort of trim this video down too. So I want to trim it. Because I don't want the same part where I'm teaching afterwards. I want to just get the part where Yang Shi is going after um, and, and being affectionate with me. So probably I might want to crop it to about the 40 second second mark. So I'm going to go to the playback right here in the video and I'm going to just trim the video. So this part allows me to see the start time of the video and the end time. So what parts do you want me to put in, huh? You want me to put the whole thing in? He's nodding. <laughs> He thinks it's a good thing. Rock on. <laughs> oh, he's rolling his eyes. Either one. He's very cute. Oh. Yeah. So what I want to do then is I basically just want to um sort of see, okay, I wanted to do the 42nd, my 42.441. So I'm just going to kind of 42. So this green is basically the start time. 
and the red is for the end time. So again, the way to interpret this is that the end time is basically this part here. And the start time is basically this over here. So that's sort of how you can interpret those things here. Start time and end time. So I was probably wanted to be, maybe this is fine. And then for the starting part, I sort of wanted to be maybe, maybe this part here. And I can directly like put in the number two. So if I really want to start at minute seven point, maybe two, I can adjust it as well. And I can then do okay. So what you're going to see then is it's gotten truncated down to the 36.51 seconds. Before, what it was is it was two minutes, 50 seconds. And guess who came back? Me. Hi, me. Hi, me. Me came back. You want to spend time with your sister? Aww. So in general, now what we see is it is it shrunk down because I trimmed it. So it shrunk down to about two minutes and 50 seconds um, from that time down to like 36 um, um, seconds, 36 and a half seconds or so. So now what we're going to see here is that, so we shrunk it in size. That um, A is false given that C is false. Oh, oh, hi, I'm in Yangshi. Oh, it's so cute. It's so cute. He's so affectionate and kind. Maybe we could also just have him like, we could even trim it some more if you want to. We can even trim it down a little bit more. So what happens when we trim it is that the rest of this video, the rest of it just kind of gets, um, like this part right here gets canceled out. And then this part right here gets canceled out too. Mm. So now we're just left with just this part right here that is right here. We're left with just this part here from the video. So that's what trimming does. It reduces the scope. So that's what, we, what we've done here. And then we can just even see that it gets shrunk down to just um, this much time. Hi, Yangshi. I think he sort of wants to go see his sister. Hi. This is uh, me and Yangshi and me. Oh, mommy, mommy, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Hi, Yankee. Hi, Yankee. But today, the vibe seems to not to be as affectionate, unfortunately. They both are quite away from each other. Not quite feeling it. He's kind of uh, a little bit aloof at the moment. Hi, Yankee. Hi, Melissa on the bed. So that's something, right? But so basically, I just showed you how to um, kind of trim a video um, as well. So now we can see that we trimmed it even more. So now this video is even shorter. So it's like 33.66 um, seconds. But the issue is that I'm not the star of this. I'm not the star of this video. So I want to kind of crop it. So ideally I'm focusing on this window um, of this. So I think the window I want to focus on is something, maybe I should try it again. Maybe I actually, I really want to kind of reduce the scope. Okay, left. Oh, he isn't feeling it with me today. So I want to sort of just reduce the scope down of this video, um, not this, well, not this scope, but I mean, maybe the area of the filming down to maybe just this part here. Let's try that because I think that part would really capture uh, Yangshi um, kind of 
the most of it. So if we ran it through, we would see that this window can allow us to really zoom in on everything. Right, so let me just do one thing. So playback helped us kind of make those adjustments. I also think um, another thing is I don't want my, my voice cut. So right now you can hear the audio. That um, A is false, given that C is false. I'm, talking, I'm, I'm basically talking about probability here. A, A is false given that C is false. So that's what I'm talking about here. So I don't want the volume. So I, or maybe I want it to be higher than it is. So if I want it to be really maxed out, I can do this. That, um, but if I don't want any volume, I can just reduce this down. And then I can also um, just also click that, which means no volume. So that's how you can remove volume. Now I also just want to kind of go to video format and crop it and crop it kind of following this rectangle idea of where I want it to go. So if I'm cropping it right now, then what we're going to see is that so far it looks like this. And I can continue to crop it. I want to continue to crop it till I kind of get us within this red rectangle. That's sort of where I felt like we'd be able to see the most of it. So now I'm kind of within the red rectangle, so I can get rid of that here. This is sort of like where I want it to go. Maybe I don't want this head to be initially cut off so much. Maybe I'm just going to go back to the crop. And if I made a mistake, this will allow me to pull it back out a little bit. So, now what we can see is that this is sort of the video. Okay, it needs to be on the slide because whatever's on the slide will ultimately be able to become the video, the final video. So I wanted to just sort of be on the slide a bit. There's a little bit of white spot here that is um, above and below. Um, so what I can see here is that now, Uh, uh, she's kind of just watching. He's so cute. He's just kind of watching things. He's pretty alert as well. Oh, hi, me. He's very, very cute. So she's sort of just watching how it's going. So me is sort of seeing how um, we can edit this video down so that we're just focusing on um, this really cute moment. And if we want to do a better job, we can continuously kind of like crop it down even more. Maybe if we want to, we could probably um, still see if there's more scope to be done. And um, is this part, yeah, this part is not even used as much. The teddy is really cute though. But we could even make it cuter. This way we're focusing more on this. We can also crop a little bit from the top too. And then we have to just keep on watching to see. Okay, so this part is okay because it has a little bit of the gap from when he goes up. And I also thought that was cute too. You can extend this part out a bit too. And then you can, you can set slide size as well. If you want it to be cropped to fit this, you can also kind of adjust settings for your slideshow so that this video will fit a, the slide um, size. So if it fits the slide size, it'll sort of come as is. Um, but if not, you'll see these white parts here. So maybe you want to put it over some background or something, something like this maybe. Or you might want to go to design and then set the slide size that way, custom slide size, and then make adjustments. Um, so that's sort of how we edited this as well. So we can go to video format. We can go to color as well if you want to change it. I'll let this video stay. So you can sort of see how we went from this video. We can resize it as well. We could also, and I have another video going more into depth on this. We can like rotate the video. We can 
rotate it this way. You can make it even upside down. You can just rotate it. You can edit, you can undo things. We can also like flip it vertical, horizontal, rotate it all around. We can have multiple on the same slide as well. You can have like one here, maybe we can have like different versions as well. We can insert that media there. But I sort of showed you how we went from here, which is about two minutes, 50 seconds. And it's really tiny if what's going on, but it's really cute. But I'm in there, I'm, I'm explaining some concepts. And, you know, you, we really see that the real star of the show is, I guess, this part right here this part right here and how we can zoom in on that from just this part to this part reduce the volume increase the size as well so that's sort of how i showed you how we can essentially you know click this go to playback trim the video we can also um kind of going to crop the video as well and i kind of want to use the video that i uploaded from my phone and you can also use um powerpoint um abilities to edit Please note this video edited by Sanya Kuller, for instance. You can even kind of like have this video running with some text over on it as well. Um, if you want to do things like that, you can have text on the video as well. You could even label it, say that this is Yangshi, and then this is Mei here, if you want to, so you can label him as Yangshi. You can have it read and that will be on top of the video, but maybe you might want to be careful that, you know, you see this is Yangshi over here. So you can do all those things here. But I kind of want to show you here that we can use maybe the video I uploaded from my phone. The video that I uploaded from my phone, um, we can sort of use that here to um, do some other types of editing. We can do the same as before, but maybe I want to um, kind of make it an oval shaped video. That could also be cute, where I'm just looking in on the, and then when you see the video, you have this cute little background and you have them like this. That's also pretty nice, I think. And then we can also try something like maybe, this is also cute as well. So for my phone video, of course it's higher quality. You can look something like this. I can also do some, um, I can pause it for a second and play it if I just want to check out something or I can use this interface to slide on or off a bit. I can also, maybe I can take, I can take part of here and I can also, um, you know, come here and slice this video. I can do video format, playback, trim video. You know, I can um, try to crop the video as well here. I can do all sorts of things. I could break up the video on multiple slides, you know, and, and, and crop, I'm sorry, and trim the video at different parts. I can crop the video with those fancy crops as well. I can, you know, crop it, you know, using rectangular cropping. I can also use these same things. These are some of the same features that are um, you can use if you're wanting to, like, let's say, edit this video, for instance, uh, edit, edit an image. We also, if we're editing an image, we often go to picture format. We can add a border. We can add this part. We can add all these things to an image. We can also do corrections and other things. As you, you know, you can do corrections for images. So what's cool is that you can just basically translate a lot of this picture format thing all the way to video editing. So this is one way we can edit, this is one way we can edit the image, or, or I mean, sorry, the video. This is one way we can edit the video. Another way is we can kind of go back to video format, and then um, we can kind of go back to maybe, and, and this will allow you to get, so it looks like this, I just copied this here, but you can kind of copy it here, and then you can even undo those edits that you made. You can make a cute little border here. You can, um, make a poster frame, you can do corrections as well for the video. You can make it brighter as well. And there are other video correction options as well too. You can increase the brightness. So the video now looks like this. You can also potentially 
go to color, um, you know, you can make it sepia, black and white, blue accent, gold accent, green, just like silhouettes, you know, gray, you can make it in black and white too. We can move this above, or we, maybe we can take advantage of that white space like that. But yeah, there are a lot of different edits and there's so many more features available as of now. Um, the video borders, the video shapes as well that you can do. You can even make this look like an arrow, which is pretty cool. You can make it look like a smiley, with like a smiley on top of this. Uh, that looks like something I would do. You could even have um, video shape, other shapes. You can have a heart. Like this is cute too. Maybe you want to have it as a heart and then have it like kind of good old fashioned, you know, really cute effect as a heart. As you can tell, I like kind of playing around with these things. I think that they're really cute. And so when you're done with these things, you can sort of take the videos that you have and you can just export them. So you can go to the file menu and, and you can go to export and then create a video. And then create video. Um, and if slides don't have any text on it, like my first, um, slide is the title slide, for instance, you can just say that, hey, if this if there's no video for a slide, for instance, um, then just please spend five seconds on it. Uh, you know, any any slides without any videos or audio, just spend five seconds, please, and then switch the next slide. So this is also how you can export any presentation as a video as well. If there's no text or audio on it, you can just say, hey, by default, if there's nothing that's being said, no audio or video recording, please just spend five seconds on each slide or six or seven, you know, so then you just create the video and then it can be like an MP4 file. Then it's off, off you know, option to save it there. And yeah, this, is, this does not have anything on it. And this slide does not also have anything on it either. Um, this slide also does not have anything on it either. So there'll be five seconds, five seconds, five seconds each, according to what I selected. This has audio and video, it's video here. This has video. This has a cute video here. This has another version of the video. And this is sort of something I had initially played around with to get, but you can always make these things better. You can always like make some corrections for these things. You can always like increase the brightness, contrast as needed as well. Like, and you can also just adjust height, width. So yeah, there are just so many edits that you can do here. Um, so I just hope I showed you how you can do this using PowerPoint, how you can record videos and how you can edit them. So I hope that this helped you. I am Sanya Kule. This is cute little me. And yeah, she is somewhere else. He's kind of um, his own little big guy today. I think I maybe embarrassed him too much for this very affectionate video. And he's like, girl, I need to be a little stud. <laughs> if you found this helpful, um, you know, sort of please write comments, please subscribe and share. And please let me know if you have any questions at all at how I could make this better. So I hope that this helped you guys. And again, sometimes the simplest things are the most effective. And I hope you'll use these videos as well. And I have another a video about a kind of like clipping videos horizontally or vertically. So I hope that you watch that as well if you have questions on those. So this is just a generic overall video about kind of like things that you can do. And I hope that you'll experiment with them. I hope that you like try out video effects, for instance, how you can make a video have a little glow on it too. I like this glowing thing. You can make the height glow potentially if you want. You can add this glowing thing to it that this height is, is glowing. You could even have like um, reflection. Potentially if you want to have reflections and then maybe you can reduce the size, make it more reflective or something. But you'd have to make sure that all of this fits onto the slide. You could start something like this or you could also um, go here and do um, shadows. Your video could have shadows. It could have all sorts of things. So I'd like to think that this is pretty cool because when you're watching this, it looks like, so you, you need to know that whatever is below here, it's not going to be captured. Whatever's on the slide, the slide is your workspace. And then again, you can always adjust those by going to slide size. And then if you watch this, it looks something like this. You know, reflections, it's really cute.
So yeah, this is like super fun. And sometimes with presentations or slides, it's some it's something that you guys could 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 work with and do things with. So I hope that this helps you again. And all the best. Thank you guys. And again, I'm Sonia Quitter, and that's cute little me. So, so cute. Oh, this is cute little me.